starting with the 30 days of OS with DME. So the first topic is incisional biopsy. It is the removal of just a small part of a lesion for histopathological examination. So this biopsy, it is done if the lesion is too large or diffuse type of lesion which are more than 2 cm or on the lesion which are having malignant potential or if they are present on the dangerous location like they are present very close to the nerves or blood vessels. Now what are the types of incisional biopsy? So it can be wedge biopsy or punch biopsy. Now wedge biopsy, it is made using an elliptical shaped incision or a wedge shaped incision with the help of scalpel and in this you need to include 2 to 3 millimeters of the normal tissue in the incision and here narrow deep type of specimens are preferred. So wedge biopsy it is indicated in the ulcerative or vesicular or bulbous lesions. Now on the other hand punch biopsy it is made using an instrument called punch. So here small cylindrical punch of varying diameter it is used to get a full thickness of the skin tissue and it is widely accepted for the diagnostic skin biopsy or removing small lesions like navi and it is the method of choice for many flat lesions also punch biopsy it is used in the mass screening programs. So it is indicated in the interpretation of various skin tumors or in the interpretation of the bulbous lesions like pemphigus vulgaris or removal of the intradermal navi or in the inflammatory skin lesions like discoid lupus erythematosus. Now lastly, how are you going to do this incisional biopsy? So using a sharp blade, you are going to make an incision which is going to include normal tissue 2 to 3 millimeters of normal tissue and you're going to exclude the necrotic tissue next is you're going to excise a small part of the tissue for examination and lastly you're going to give the sutures so that was all about it thank you so much